that's why Puna Eha. And if you look straight ahead, you see this white mineral deposit right here in front of us. It's an easy landmark to pick out in two different movies. Uh, both movies, the helicopter flies right past it, and that would be Jurassic World, and then also uh, Tropic Thunder with Ben Stiller. If you go back and watch that movie, it was all filmed here. He lives here in Kauai. I've seen him twice. What do you think about Kauai from the sky so far? Absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. Came out here three and a half years ago on vacation, just like you guys. Spent, spent two weeks out here hiking, backpacking, fell in love with this island right off the bat. Took this flight on the last day here, and I was like, dude, I want to do that. <laughs> so, I was a helicopter pilot before I came here, but it was just a hobby for me. This is what I wanted to be from the time I was two years old. And so, back in 2000, Army Cobra pilot, he left the military, started his own flight school, so I'd go down take lessons from him every weekend. Eventually got my private commercial and started flying tours after a couple of years on the over the Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. Never thought about making a living with it until I took this flight. Went back home, started applying for the job right away, thinking I'll never hear from him, but I kind of appeased myself to saying I made an effort, right? And uh, six months later, I got a call and they offered me a position on the Big Island and able to transfer up here. Before I came here, I was your UPS driver for 27 years, four months, and three days. That's where I worked at. So <laughs> my whole adult life, that's where I was at. Started in college, stayed with them after college. And, and truthfully, the scariest thing I've ever done was quit that job, move halfway around the world where you don't know anyone, uh, try to live out your little boy dream, but zero regrets two and a half years later. Sounds like this route is a little bit of a better one. Yeah, I love this place. It's such a special island, special people. Guys, this is our volcano crater. Believe it or not, it's wide open enough. I want to take you guys all the way in the back. We skip this 65% of the time at least due to the fact that you really can't see uh, all the 450 inches of rain that we receive in the center of the island comes down right in the middle of this. Brings all those clouds. You can't get in and out of here. So I want to take you guys all the way in the back. And again, this is Mount Waialiali, our volcano crater. This is the heart of Kauai, the birthplace of Kauai where it all began. What you guys think about that? Incredible. Very cool. So happy you guys got a chance to get back there and see that. Give me just a second, they make a radio call. I'll point out a couple of landmarks you got. 
you see this uh, mountain range right here. This is about the best angle you can get on the whole island. This little island, or little mountain range, it's called the No-No Mountain Range. Way better known, though, as Sleeping Giant. You look right in the middle of it and see the high point. That's a giant's head, and his feet's over to the left. And that's in Kapa'a, so as you guys drive back up to Hanalei, you go through Kapa'a, look for that. Have you found uh, King Kong's profile yet? No? All right, so you see the mountain range way out to your left right there, the closest to the ocean. The next town up from uh, Kapa'a is Anahola. When you drive through Anahola, there's one market right there on the right-hand side, a little restaurant called Ono Char, part of that. Uh, go a mile and a half past that, like you're going back to Hanalei. Turn around and look at that mountain from that angle. It's going to look just like King Kong right there. It'll look exactly like it. All this, land, all this land underneath us is owned by the guy that started AOL. You remember You've Got Mail? Steve Case owns 45,000 acres here, second largest parcel holder. He captures all the rain comes out of the crater back here, keeps it in this reservoir, sells it back to Kauai, makes $10 million a year off the water. Not a bad deal, right? <laughs> It's really not a bad deal for us either. Plentiful water. You see how much rain we get here in Kauai, and so there's never a shortage of water, really. Uh, he's agreed not to develop any of this over the next 20 years. As long as he can make money like that, he's happy with it. So that's not a bad deal for us to keep this as green and lush as it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, starting to come back into controlled airspace. So we do have the microphones turned off on the last little bit. Everybody had a good time? Enjoyed your flight? Yeah. The cool thing, huh? As soon as we get back down, I will turn those microphones back on. So if you have any questions or thoughts throughout the flight, maybe you forgot to ask, don't forget them now. I'll be happy to answer anything. I would like to say a couple of personal things uh, before we get back into the business side of everything. Is first, uh, mahalo. Thank you guys for coming in, bringing your family, and uh, let me share this island with you guys. You guys put a lot of trust in me to fly you safely around this island. It means a lot to me. So. I do appreciate that. This is a special place. Of course, this is my home now, and I hope you had a chance to fall in love with Kauai just a little bit more during your flight. Seeing you guys share time together as a family is kind of a cool thing. That's what you miss the most living so far away from home. So uh, that's uh, enjoy these times. Thank you for letting me be a little part of it. Like a Tennessee boy says in Kauai, mahalo y'all. Yep, so I have to get my y'alls in every chance I can. On the business side of things, if you ever find yourself in Maui or Oahu, Waikoloa and Hilo on the Big Island, keep us in mind, we do have flights there. And check out your video when you get inside, everything's recorded. Once we land, you can loosen your seat belts, I'll turn the mics on, and just kind of hold tight, allow the staff to open and close the doors if you don't care. Uh, once you get out of the helicopter, always go back out to the front. We've got an awesome crew here in Kauai, though, so have your phones, your cameras ready, they're always happy to take a picture of you in front of the helicopter. I'll throw it the shock, i throw it back, love getting those. Once you get inside, if you can, on a personal note again, let, give me a heads up, let me know what you thought about the flight. And of course, that's, uh, I sit in the same seat every time, so if there's something I'm overlooking, please give me a heads up on that. I'm always very thankful for that kind of feedback. If you had a good time, you have a moment to write a review, I absolutely love seeing those. I save every single one of them. I still have the very first one I received two and a half years ago, and I'll keep the last one. So it's uh, probably a time of my life I won't be able to do this. I always want to have those memories look back on. Send those back home to my mom. She takes care of them for me. <laughs> she, she's so sweet. She goes through every one of them too.